what's up guys this is the road and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play the kingdom of mysore and in this episode we're assaulting the city of astrakhan this is one of a number of fights we are definitely going to be fighting this turn and uh, they are a reasonable army in here a bunch of cossack infantry some cossack light cavalry and a bunch of artillery but we will overwhelm and destroy them so let's take out this garrison and this will allow us to push our armies around the east surround moscow and effectively just cause a total faction-wide collapse but the main thing is we need to keep engaging the enemy wherever they can be found to prevent them from building up any centers of strong centers of gravity and we can just roll them up like a carpet and throw them out the window So, the guns can go up here. Let's form our infantry line. Get ready to advance. A lot of Kurdish hillmen all out on the right flank. Oh, these Af yeah, these are Kurdish hillmen, not Afghan hillmen. Melee troops can hold the line behind my main battle line group. My probably better if we mix up light and heavy cavalry together add my extra gun team in unsurprisingly they are on the other side of the river of the uh, the city which case then let us advance up move my melee troops over to the right flank this cavalry is still viable on the left the mortars are beginning there beginning there and move forward try and knock out the Vibiani Strelzi first but if not I will run some Israelian just to make sure they go down quick there's another unit of Cossack infantry on the left Around them with my Israeli, see if I can shatter them. There we go. Get my cavalry out of the ready. Starting to quick line me. But ultimately begin to push through the city. Although you don't want to sit here in some massive column formation. Beware of the cavalry defences. Hillmen are going to be in a position to start picking off the enemy militia. The human can probably try push up to here. Kizobashi probably try push up to here. Go after the enemy artillery. Shift my guns to fire at other targets. And 
my melee troops are here to explicitly guard my Kurdish hillmen. Cavalry have surrounded my infantry, but that's not terrible. No, no, don't charge them. So it's so it's send a big blob of infantry to jump on the Cossacks. Send my spy to go after the Cossacks. You men, make ready and fire at will. Good hits, good hits. So, Pahi, go for the Cossack infantry. Kurdish Hillmen are going to hold the line in the face of these militiamen. made it to our lines, deploy the cavalry, deploy the melee troops, deploy the Kizobashi into the rear of this Cossack infantry unit. Two guys can probably stand to send one infantry unit to keep picking off for there. Ooh, you formed square, have you? My melee troops don't care. Send in my Israeli. There we go, the square is broken as well. charge. There you go, you've shattered them. Push up. Cavalry's gone here. Even get over here and help your other cavalry unit. These men just run over here. You're still engaging the howitzers. Charge the Cossacks. They've been broken. Okay, get the cavalry out of here. Dervishes get back. Native lancers get back. Feline get back. Let's engage this square. Well, not now, not the square anymore. Begin engaging the Russians with musketry. We've blitzkrieged their line. Now we are going to form up and fight suitably. My artillery is completely out of range. There you go, everyone. You're in position. Reload. Make ready. the 12th Regiment hasn't had enough. I mean, you men are supposed to go after the 89th. Now they're going after my cavalry, but I don't think they're going to make it. No, they have not. We are going to continue, um, chiefly because... This is a relatively fresh army. I want to add some experience to it. Let's murder a whole bunch of Russian troops. Give our chaps some experience for getting some excellent kills. There we go. 
Uh, I think actually that was the first time this army actually uh, engaged, so that was quite good. You're not in range just to smash them. Excellent. So our priest is trying to convert the region. And you've blitzed onto Kazan, but no one's there to stop you. Yeah, they're digging in around Moscow. You're waiting for reinforcements. I think I'm fairly sure everyone else has already... Everyone who can move has already moved. So let's hit end turn. Excellent. Our trade fleet rises. Okay, let's get cracking. What are you going to do, Russia? What are you going to do? So they are abandoning Petrovskaya. Moscow is <laughs> is certainly uh, well protected. Oh yeah, you you can raid if you like. They can. They're more than welcome to raid. Yeah, Russia, is, Russia is just such a massive country, it can be difficult to hold all of the key crossings that you need to hold. Yeah, they need to get smashed and pushed away from Vilnius. Open the road to Moscow from the west. There's a couple of good armies there. Uh, yeah, just chop. Chop! Hula! Hula! They've sieged Vilnius. The siege of Vilnius will be offset, or it will be relieved. All these small nations that still exist. They need to not exist, but I need to focus on Russia first. Because if I break Russia, then this campaign will quite rapidly begin to uh, begin to end. Nevertheless, let us keep engaging. Come on, come on, let me in. <laughs> let me raid. I mean, you can come at me if you like. I'm, I think I'm pretty sure they're just going to raid. They're not going to go after the city. Natural causes, Eastern Scholar. Natural causes, Imam. Ah, he's done a pretty good job. A pretty Islamic enemy raiding Kharkov. You have this bridge secured, so I'm not worried for you. You can go after this. The ring wraith, so I remember them. How did you cross the river? Well, I suppose they are ring wraiths. Yes, sir. You. Yes. Smash him. <laughs> Just keep squeezing. Just keep squeezing. Just keep squeezing. There we go. Push, 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 push. Can you leave Crimea? No, they're still very unhappy. Okay, so you defeated that small force there. You need to fight them. Your best place to relieve the siege of Minsk. You men push up with the support of this army towards St. Petersburg. 
both of you guys continue to head towards Petrovskaya because it looks like they don't really want to defend it. It looks like settlement Astrakhan has been largely abandoned. So let's send one of you to Ufa. Let's try and take out more priests. We've got one. We've recruited an imam in Bosnia. Let's probably... It's probably a bit overkill, really, to try to send them against Moscow. You're ready to start your invasion. Let's probably land you over here. That'll be fine. Public servant dies. A man who has spent many years in office has sadly fallen. Anyway, let's get some construction done. Good, 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 good. Lots of madrasas. Got you as well. Quallen, let's upgrade the commercial port. So you're being upgraded, you need to be upgraded. As do you, as do you. As do you. You've been left behind. Give you orders to move up. I mean, let's knock out you, the depleted army, first. I'm going to fight it because I don't want to damage the other armies to the south. I've got a few things up here we need to sort out. A few, a few small Russian forces that need to be annihilated. The intention is, I would like to try and secure as many bridges, well the bridges around the rivers that surround Moscow province, to bottle in as many of their troops as I can. And then I can launch my set piece action. Well I'm pretty sure this force is going to annihilate these enemies because the uh, four four Islamic warriors is a is a large amount of really good melee troops. Everyone stormed down the hill towards them. Yeah, Dragoons, Regiment of Horse, Line Infantry. And they're going to find things get pretty dangerous pretty quick. They're charging me, that's bold of them. The quick line has been inadequately delivered. I'm just going to let them charge. It looks like they've not got the morale to press the charge home. Here come these are irregular cavalry. They've, yeah, one of them, two of them have been shot off their horses. The regiment of horses is, oh, is attempting to engage. 
If their cavalry wants to go after my cavalry, they are welcome. We've got plenty of it. Suddenly they're not so keen, now my cavalry is charging them back. It appears we are too close for their quick climb to have an effect. Look at them run. Here comes their militia line. Ah, they're going to charge us while we're deploying, are we? You in charge into that regiment, of course. Oh, my militia, my um, Fleming swordsman, I'm going to get a look in. charging all over the place which means they're going to get shot at come on men, make ready and fire yeah, the militia does not have the best morale Goes there, there goes their army. Keep pushing, keep pressure on them. Get all my guns to engage the fifth regiment of dragoons. Taking out those dragoons yet, you will do imminently. Go after the line infantry. Just keep pushing up, capture the ground, don't let them reform. You're gonna go after this big block of line infantry. Actually, artillery just stopped firing. Let's send some infantry over to help out. Atomic swordsmen charge down the dragoons. Don't worry, they won't fight us. Suddenly, a bunch of guys with swords and shields freaking come storming through the trees. I love you guys. And you guys. There we go. The Kizilbashi have turned the tide. Heavy cavalry go after Bibione Strelzi. Yeah, you men are going to go down pretty tick, pretty quick. Islamic swordsmen just mowing down these dragoons. It's just this cavalry left. Better run. Come on. Break your scurvy dogs. There we go. Fairly sure that is it. 
But we are going to continue it. I'm not sure where those howitzer crewmen are, but I'm going to send my light cavalry after them. And we're going to finish off the guerrilla mercenaries. So many militia. Let's get out of here. Nice, nice, nice. Back you may go. Secure the crossing. So annoying. Actually, yes, we do. We do have someone on the southern end of these trees. So if we hit these from the wrong direction, it will just force them south. But if this artillery gets up to here, you can come down and hit Benedict Malyesh Malyeshev. Then we will relieve Minsk. Now we'll, now we'll almost be all the Russian armies, all the Russian armies in central, not central Russia, but you know, central west smashed and then the road to Moscow is open and they will have to redeploy have to deploy troops to try and prevent a significant breakthrough and it is raining which is lame form line for battle form a wide line to wrap around the flanks Indian mercenaries on the left. Let's get my general involved. Just let my artillery do whatever the hell they want from the back. Hey, they've deployed actually kind of in front of us for once. Charge, charge, charge. Elephants get up onto the high ground. You all my artillery is trying to smash their artillery. In comes their dragoons. More than welcome to charge, fellas. Because Obashi and the Indian mercenaries are dying to meet you. The other line's gonna gonna hold where they are now. Let's try to secure the trees on the right flank. There goes the enemy cavalry in spectacular style. Push, 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 push. Push up behind them. Retarget the guns to smash their infantry line in infantry positions. We've overwhelmed them on the right flank, so let's begin rolling up the flank. All of you guys except for my elephant attachment, my elephants. Get in. Same with my general. The infantry just push through. Aim for the Bjorni Streltsy. They're engaging us in the trees. But they've got heavy fire on the flank. Don't think that flank attack's going to work. There go the expat infantry crushed under the heels of our mighty elephants. There's another concentration of enemy troops here, but I don't think that's going to save them. Enemy cavalry is charging my Kizobashi in the rear again. These Siberian hunters probably look pretty cool. They do.
Okay, the elephants again. Ploy against the blunderbuss shotgunners. That's another big route from the enemy. Keep pushing forward if you don't mind if this becomes a melee engagement. These poor devils, if they don't form up, you better be concerned. Our elephants are annoyed. How about you? Jesus. Good stuff, my friends. Even smash the gorilla mercenaries. Push in. Kizilbashi, stop firing. I should have done that at the start of the match. Start of the game, rather, not the match. Should one of you go after the Siberian hunters, one of you go after the irregulars, all the gunners pound this Eastern European mercenary unit into dust. You are not yet useful. Okay, let's split this into two smaller engagements, but it looks like... Get my cavalry out of the way. The 117th are wavering under artillery fire. There they go. Redirect my guns to the 44th foot guards. Brave souls, doing good work, but I'm afraid you can't hold off the Mysorean hordes. There they go. My artillery ceased fire. Where are the line infantry guard units? That's what I want to get. Other than that, I don't mind. Militia, whatever. Kills are kills. I'm not using my not using my camels do anything they just aren't the best not my camels elephants I do know the difference I swear slaughter them Five foot guards on the left, four, but there's only two here, so where's the other two? There they are. The Cossack infantry are the next target, but they're about to rout. Eh, not bad, not bad at all. 700 men left. You can just auto chew up the remainder don't worry I haven't screwed this up because these guys are ready to rock and roll get to here attack Abraham Rashubjin lots of artillery but we don't care lots of artillery can be a very brittle force design so it works great if we come straight at them slowly and they can optimize their firepower but if we close the distance rapidly and surround them from all directions the artillery can't ever bring its force to bear against our against a large concentration of our troops and then we can just surround them and destroy them frankly we don't even need to we don't need to worry about a whole lot really and then after all, with all of that going on, our artillery will be 
quite merrily engaging ourselves. Although our artillery is not going to be firing right off the bat. Our bugs unit of African light infantry. We need to get our elephants in. Let's split this into mercenary units and regular units. Push up. Looks like their infantry is running, so they could be about to lose a lot of artillery here. It's one unit destroyed. Okay, no, actually, stay where you are. going to say the enemy cavalry is coming our way. Six men in that regiment of horse. And they, they blasted him. Push the flank. General's bodyguard, go for that line of infantry unit. So he go for the Cossacks. Dragoons have been chased off. light infantry there's, there's your light infantry true but there's only 33 of them now engage so my camels are just going to scoot up right to the edge shoot at them with bows from my skirmish cav. Should you go after these Cossacks? The battle inside the trees is dangerous. Let's try to go after their enemies to the rear. Go on camels. Give them a volley. And my elephants will go in. Troops are just going to mob the Cossacks. Oh, 
you might have to drive forward through these defences. Don't hold back. Camels charge. Israeli charge. Charge forward through the spikes. fog and the gloom of battle. Push up. Can you go for the artillery crew? Go after the Cossacks. Where's my camels? Not yet everyone. Battle is not yet Battle's not yet complete. Don't go after the Cossacks, go after just a unit of light infantry, I suppose. Kill the gunner. We're going after that line infantry. Yes, we are going to continue. Because the slaughter will be glorious. Kill them! Kill them all! If you can kill all of them, that'd be great because then you can go on to them. Yeah, camels are doing okay. Artillery cease fire. Two, one. Try go after that militia, but I suspect it will be a forlorn hope. Camels have done some glorious work. Then the other unit, the Lancers. Only two Eastern European mercenaries. You accepted the wrong contract this time, Buster. And these men are spread out. I can't, I don't know if we kill them or if they routed, but either way, it's a good result for us. That's right. Back you go, you devils. And then the garrison itself is going to push out and then auto both these fellows. Excellent work. Replenish and drive forward. The city itself is handled the fact that we're not there. You may go this way. That's right, Russia. We're coming. Soon your time is over. Yeah, you guys may instead dedicate yourselves to just mopping up. can't quite catch them, but I think if I take everyone except the artillery. Excellent. Doing good work. Raiders up here, but you're all just going to hold position. Good, 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 good. So that's the next main enemy concentration. Albert Shekodanova. And our forces are storming around to the north. It's all pretty nice. Uh, yes, you need to take out 
these chaps. Casualties are entirely acceptable. Because we have Stockholm right there. And if we need anything, we can just recruit it. Ah, you've, ah you're already doing that. Smart. Yeah, Stockholm might take a bit of time to come around to our way of thinking. Replenish the dock, get you guys in. Workers have rioted in the Rhineland. Yeah, but they've chilled out. Excellent, we've done all the construction stuff. You're just running around. You're going to go after their colonial territory as is. Cool, I think we can hit end turn and see how the Russians freak out. Yeah, that, that hunk of troops there. That is the largest force they've got. The rest of the troops near Moscow are not in great shape. Once we push on and take Petrovskaya, we're within range of taking out um, St. Petersburg as well. See, I didn't know they can cross there. There's no crossing, as far as I can see. It's just incredibly knotty. And they can raid to the heart's content. I don't mind that. They've snuck through our lines. So this is part of the reason why it's so useful to have so many armies, is that we can send whole armies to chase down these raiders without having to balance. You know, do you send a huge amount and be wasteful, or do you send a small amount and be ineffective? We can just send a whole army to do that work. Come on, come on, come on. You'll get yours, Quebec. Trust me. Eastern Scholar, Lithuania, useless. So enemy raid here it was you guys. But if you guys combine... So another raiding force destroyed. Yes, me, Lord. I think they're sending troops at speed to Ufa because they realize that's where we're going. You can deal with Vlad here. Yeah, you get over there. Get ready to cross. You can scoot this side of that fellow. Yeah, that's another force. So I think if once we've destroyed an army, or effectively destroyed an army, then what they, what happens to them is they get, it appears they get ordered to just to start raiding. Good, 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 good. Done that. Crimea trade port. Call and gain the fires of industry. Okay, Metal Roads. Global Trading Company. Two new ports in Bulgaria. 
upgrade the Madrasa. And the funny thing is, because they've still got lots of agents around, it's not actually... We're not making the sort of impact that we would have hoped. I mean, we've got to beat those guys for sure. We've also got to beat these guys for sure. To be honest, I might actually fight this one because we've got lots of fun units. Yeah, let's do that. Let's tag some peace, though. They got a really good army in there. We got a whole bunch of troops. They have horse guard artillery, but they don't have any mortars, which is nice. But we're just going to knock down so many breaches in their wall. They're not going to be able to defend them. But even if they do defend them, because they have lots of very, very good troops, it's not going to help them. They are still going to die. So we'll set up a... create our breaches, put the pockets around the, around the breaches to try to lure them out. Then we send in the Gurkhas. Including an almighty great gun. So we're not going to be... ...worrying too much about strategy just yet and placement. Who have you decided to aim for tonight? The centre. On one hand, grey. On the other hand, no. Because... We need to knock a hole in the wall first, men. So there comes their reinforcements. Getting an artillery team and a cavalry team. From troops stationed outside the walls, but we don't really mind that. Killing some good units, because these they've got marines on the walls defending it, so those are what we are getting. Those are what we're taking out. There we go, that's that's one breach secure. I guess. We do start. Actually, what's quite useful is I can send my Gurkhas and my and unit of Islamic swordsmen around the flank to start scaling the wall. That will cause them to get really upset really quickly. Oh, I hear a charge. Guns aren't actually shooting at what we want them to shoot at. Bombard the breach. Slam shot. These guys, I'm afraid, they may have jumped on my Islamic swordsmen, but they're going to get countercharged by Gurkhas, which is real bad. So two units aim at the Horse Grenadier Guards, another unit at the Heavy and the Great Guns aim at the Royal Curassier Guards. I think you guys have messed up. I know you guys have. Too bad they're not shattered, but I'll take what we can get. 
all my guns engage the dragoons. Let them know what it means to sally. And mortars, provincial line, marines up on the wall. Go on, seat musketeers, give them a volley. Yeah, I think my guns have to get to work on breach numero de. The light infantry are coming out. Bayonet charge is no less. Well, you know what? All, almost all of them focus on the breach. Get one unit of artillery just to engage the men on the wall. The horsemen are now engaging the enemy with bow fire. Then my artillery really is screwy recently. So there it goes the horse under the guards. Let's try to whittle down their light infantry, especially if they want to play stakes. Oh no, you guys just killed a bunch of your own men. Again, my artillery is not attacking the wall, even though I've ordered them multiple times, and they're still not doing it. shooting at whatever they want. To the point where it's actually upsetting my Kizobashi musketeers. Ah, Seeks, get back. What are you doing? You guys are going to... I'm going to limber you guys up and point you at the right direction. More infantry to engage us. Send my. No, don't send my spack. Send my camels at the horse artillery. Can you men form a bit of a welcoming committee? Send my if I get some infantry to scale this section of the wall. That'll force them to try and push out to stop me. Who are you shooting at? To be honest, you guys will just scale the wall regardless. I think my artillery is gonna be useless now. No, you men push up as a block, not as a column. Yeah, the artillery's convinced my camels it would be better if they no longer occupied this part. Let's begin scaling the walls.
Here comes the enemy. Go get those hand mortars, Gurkhas. Looks like the enemy is now going to attempt to push out against us. Don't screw up. Engage the Marines. They're coming right at you. That's right. Engage the head of the column. Second rank. Gurkhas, cut your way through. Scaling the walls across the line. I mean, these hand mortars don't stand a chance against Gurkhas and Islamic swordsmen. There goes one unit of Marines. You men, scale the walls. Kill those marines. They may look beautiful, but we hate them. You men need to position yourselves like this, because you're doing too much damage to your own died in a minute. Okay, they're sending up marines to try and stem the flow, which isn't a bad idea. They are melee troops after all. Crassier Guard are coming, but they're not going to do anything. Keep scaling. Push in, I don't care if I lose men. Are the generals uh Curacier, they're not what you would ideally like to be. Hindu Musketeers, secure the armory. That's my weak actually my weak unit, secure the armory. This Hindu Musketeer unit secure the command HQ. Musketeers actually also jump on this combat. Let's just try and make sure my cavalry do get through. No, no, no. It's like herding cats. Go after the Vibioni Streltzi. Same with these Zimandari horsemen. These native lancers can get out as well. Where's my general? Let's get him in here as well. If he falls taking the glorious city of St. Petersburg, that 
will be a worthwhile trade. You're going to have to get off the walls because you can't just sit here doing nothing. Because you need cavalry. But we do have reinforcements, so it's not a huge deal. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just all this musket fire everywhere that wasn't helping. I think it might be easiest just to order everyone off the wall. Camels have been knocked out by the QRC air. look like they do want to run around and hit people in the rear oh no they're after my no they yeah kill them all i don't care those guns have those guns have messed up there we go seek warriors jump on the back of the cuirassier guard Kill all that artillery. That's what they get for screwing up. Can okay, I send my cavalry in against this block here? Because they are starting to waver. Because Obashi Musketeers push out, Seek Musketeers push out. Effectively, now the enemy heavy cavalry has been fixed by melee troops. I want everyone who it, people who aren't melee troops just to abandon that fight, really. Provincial liner going down. The Islamic swordsmen are still driving forward. There we go. Now they're heavy cavalry against my general. My general may die because they are heavy cavalry. That is a risk I am willing to take. Yeah, there goes the general. So we're chipping away the cavalry. They're shooting at us with pistols. But don't worry, here comes another general. These guys set up. I think it's because this is their general. They don't want. They don't necessarily want to commit them. Which I think you guys might be doing more harm than good. They're going to defend. They're going to defeat my men of the church. If those guys are going to attack my square then these guys are going to push forward and secure the center get some elephants in 161 gurkhas versus 24 marines fine you're attacking the cuirassier guards as well i suppose These sea warriors are still screwing up. Trying to get off the walls. Look, they're going up, they're going down. Attack the heavy horse artillery. There's four marines. Still withstand the Gurkhas. Stay in square, otherwise you are just going to get annihilated by the heavy horse. Especially as Sikh warriors do not want to come off of the walls. 
go get these Islamic swordsmen over here. Go on, Gurkha, take out that last Marine. Think how many of your brothers he's killed. That's another one he's got. Ah, oh, they have broken. They couldn't withstand the constant pressure. And St. Petersburg is ours. That's pretty darn awesome. Chomp. So I need to recruit a new general. Let's kill or to resolve this army outside. Yes, sir. To part my army, my navy here, evict the rest of their ships, destroy them, although we lost five ships, apparently. Get back to holding here. Grow the university. Let's repair all the government buildings. You men replenish, you men replenish. There we go, pushing up to Petrovskaya. Ultimately, let's just start to trundle men forward towards the capital. Yes, sir. You're getting ready to catch any raiders. You. You're going to go back them up. Yes, me, Lars. Yes, sir. It's position ready for an. Ready for next turn to engage those guys. You men are going to try and get to this bridge. Same as you. crashed into someone else. Which you might just try hit that army if you can get to them. Nope. Even though raid the mine, push up, just keep keep squeezing. Okay, let's hit end turn. Oh, we're taking Fort Shata, I forgot about that. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to deprive the Russians of the one colonial asset they actually have. Cheers, everyone.